a hint of autumn in the air at the Spring Green Municipal Golf Course for the annual River Valley Invitational, a 41-team cross-country meet affectionately known as the September State Meet. We pick up the action with the boys' large school competition where Madison LaFollette battles Big 8 Conference rivals Sun Prairie and Middleton. It helps to have Finn Gessner on your side if you're the Lancers. The sophomore took the individual title as top-ranked LaFollette held off Sun Prairie for the team title. We were looking out for us because when the rankings came out, it felt good to us that everyone's just watching us, so we stepped up and really put it down today. In the boys' small school race, a nice battle between Boscobel's Dakota Kaufman and Darlington's Jaden Comprood. Kaufman took the individual title, but Comprood and the Redbirds prevailed as a team. I felt him the whole time. I, I thought he was right with me coming to the finish, too, so I don't, I don't know how close he was at the finish. Yeah. I thought it was close. Well, I felt, yeah, I felt him the whole time. So I wanted to sure. get out, and we knew our target, and I wanted to get in, and I did, and he was a really good hunter. The race of the day might have come in the girls' large school division, where ACT exam absences helped Sun Prairie hold off shorthanded Middleton and shorthanded McFarland to take the team title. Sun Prairie boasted the individual champion in junior Katie Heitpiss. She ran stride for stride with senior Hannah Owens of Dodgeville Mineral Point before pulling away down the stretch to win the 5,000 meter debut for both of the top two individual finishers. What a terrific uh, duel that was with you and Katie Height Pass. What was that like out there for 5,000 meters? Um, that was awesome, to be honest. It was like a lot of fun to be able to like, be pushing with someone the whole way. It was really awesome. The 5K, you know, it felt a little longer, but not too much different. We're cross country running, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can handle whatever they throw fun, at you. Yeah. Have you run a 5K like this before? Um, no, not in this. This was my first one in Katie's as well. So. Really? Yeah. Wow. We really pushed each other to good times. You really, uh, Hannah was saying it was uh, not only the first 5K for her in competition, but you too. What did it feel like? Yeah. Um, it didn't feel too bad because this course is a, this is a really nice course, but it was definitely different. Like, got to the two mile mark and I was like, oh, I have a mile left. <laughs> As far as the way the race unfolded, I mean, you guys were stride for stride almost the whole way. I mean, that doesn't happen every time, does it? No, it doesn't. I, I may, might have, I might, I, maybe I should have went a little sooner, but it worked out in the end. Yeah. In the girls' small school race, it was all Keeley Foley of Boscobel. The senior led the Bulldogs to the team title and took individual honors in 19 minutes, 37 seconds, almost 10 seconds ahead of Belleville's Noel Mayer. Just strong today in the 5K as you looked last week when you saw you at Darlington in a 4K. Yeah, um, I felt just as good. I think it's from all the hard work that we do and like we've been playing more miles in and I mean it wouldn't be for my, without my teammates. Like I love them so much and they do so much for me so it's definitely because of them too. And it looks like there's a fair number of white jerseys out here. I know in a race this size it's a little bit harder to judge. How do you feel the team did today? I thought we did awesome. Like I haven't really seen the results, but I know we just did awesome because I can count on them and I know that they're going to put all their hard work out there.